When I bought this case for $100, I was secretly hoping that I wouldn't like it enough so that I could return it and save myself some money. But as you can probably tell from the video, I ended up loving it and let me tell you why. So this is the Arc Pulse case for your iPhone 16 Pro and it's probably the most unique and minimal cases I've ever used for my iPhone. It has such a unique look and design where I feel like either people love or hate this case and no in between, especially with the price tag. I've never really liked using a thick case that covers up the shape and the design of the iPhone, so I've always gone back and forth between having a thin case or no case at all. The biggest issue I had with thin phone cases is that while it kept the profile of the phone pretty close to the bare iPhone, it still covered up the entire phone and I couldn't actually feel the phone in my hand. And whenever I didn't have any case on, I was always anxious that there was zero room for any error when it came to dropping my phone. But more importantly, I hated having to put it on any flat surface, especially at gyms or tables, making direct contact with dirty surfaces. And I feel like this is where the Arc Pulse case really excelled in addressing all the issues I just mentioned. It provided protection on the corners of the phone, which is where most of the drops happen on most phones. And also being able to avoid direct contact with surfaces while still being able to show off the majority of the phone. And that may feel like an irrelevant point for a lot of people, but that was honestly probably the biggest selling point for me. Probably the closest comparison I can make is a bumper case, but unlike a bumper case, this doesn't add any layer on the side of the phone, making it a lot thicker. I've only had this case for about a month and a half, and I've definitely gotten some compliments or questions from people when they see the case, so it's definitely a conversation starter. For context, I have the rose bronze color on my desert titanium iPhone 16 Pro, and I personally really love this combination and how the colors really complement each other. The case also has different colors and materials, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. The case comes in two pieces, top and a bottom, and you just slide them on until you get a snug fit. Initially, I was worried that the pieces wouldn't stay on too well since it actually doesn't use any adhesives, but on their website, it says the inner case is actually made out of elastomer, which is basically a fancy way of saying rubber. You really do get a secure friction fit and you can definitely feel it as you slide the pieces onto the phone. Now, this doesn't mean that the case is completely locked onto your phone once it slides on. It's relatively easy to slide them off with a decent amount of force, which is convenient, but it also means that there could be times where it'll just come loose without you knowing. I've only had it happen to me while I was wearing tighter pants sitting down and trying to put the phone back into my pocket, where the bottom piece basically got caught on the pocket and slid off. All that to say, you don't really have to worry about the case sliding off randomly. It's surprisingly well designed that it's gonna stay on your phone for the majority of the time. Let's quickly talk about the comfort. And as you can imagine, the case doesn't really provide the best grip and it can feel a little slippery at times since it's basically a bare iPhone, especially on the sides when you're holding it. I've been using the bottom of the camera cover in the back as a way to grip my phone a little better, but basically expect to feel like you're holding an iPhone with no case on. In the front, it covers maybe like half the bezel, which is pretty impressive considering how thin the bezels are to begin with on the iPhone 16 Pro. Okay, it's probably obvious that this case is not for people who are looking for a case to protect their phones from any falls on any angle. I am most definitely a clumsy person and I definitely should have a case from a company like Otterbox, but with Apple Care Plus through the iPhone upgrade program, I'm really acting like I have money to spend on new phones, which I definitely don't. Anyway, like I was saying, this case only really protects the most necessary part of the phone, which are the corners and the cameras. Most of the time when you drop your phone, it'll land on one of the corners. So this has you covered and I'm not sure if it'll show on camera, but I'm already seeing a bit of fading in one of the corners that I usually put my phone down on. So I guess I'll have to see how durable this case is over time against drops and just general usage. But on the flip side, if the phone lands anywhere but the corners, you're basically screwed and that's gonna be the trade-off you're gonna to have to make when you're getting this case. Okay, so I think it's now time to address the elephant in the room, which is the cost. If you go on their website, you'll see that they can range from as low as $70 to as high as $300. And yes, you heard that right, $300 for an iPhone case. You're probably thinking that you'd have to be crazy to buy a case for $100 for your iPhone. And as someone who actually owns the case, I'll still probably have to agree with you. And here's a quick breakdown. You have matte black, silver, graphite, 
rose bronze, and gold, which are all made out of aluminum and cost anywhere from $70 to $130. They let you simulate how each case will look like on your specific iPhone color on their website, which I think is a very helpful tool when it comes to deciding which case you want to buy for your iPhone. The case itself, when you touch it, actually feels very solid, and I think that's where the reasoning for the high cost comes in. Obviously a lot has to do with their marketing and how they're positioning their brand, but I think the case looks and feels premium. Like I said, I definitely understand that this case is not for everyone and they're definitely targeting a niche group of people. And if you're someone like me, who's been looking for a very minimal case while still being able to show off your phone, I'd highly recommend checking this case out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.